Oh, come right in. Welcome to Gear Tasting. Today we're going to be talking about books, blankets, and flashlights. Alright, so what is gear tasting? Gear tasting is a way for me to answer your gear related questions here on the video, as well as show you what we're up to and currently evaluating at ITS headquarters. So as I mentioned in the intro, what we're working with today is the Titan security blanket. So our good friend Brian over there sent us some blankets to evaluate. Um, and these are more quilts. Uh, and by the way, Brian spells his name with an I, but I won't hold that against him. Um, so as I mentioned, they're more quilts, but I really kind of dig in what he's put together with these things. So. They, uh, they feature these large loop panels, so you can stick a patch on them like that. Um, I never really kind of gave much thought to having a blanket with, uh, with loop for patches on it, but hey, he's making them, so uh, I'll show you what he's, what he's up to with these. So um, as I mentioned, these are quilted, but he's really got some nice quilted patterns uh, made into these, so that's kind of a topo map. Um, these are fleece on the backside. Um, they come in a bunch of different sizes. Um, as well as colors, so you can see the uh, the intricate detail. He's got a, uh, a modern day Betsy Ross sewing these things up for him. So um, those are the security blankets. Um, so check them out. I think it's TitanStrategic.com, and it's called the security blanket. So in addition to these, um, I also received a flashlight in that's kind of new on the market. Um, I haven't had much chance to take a look at it, but uh, it's made by a company called. I may be pronouncing this wrong, so forgive me. Sukup, Sokup Machine. Uh, it's called Tack Lights. And as I said, this is something that we're currently evaluating. They, evaluating. they market this as a, an EDC flashlight. Um, in my opinion, it's a little big for an EDC flashlight um, with the included rechargeable battery. It is a little bit on the heavy side, but um, they say it can output to, uh, to 800 lumens. So. So there's the, the low setting, which they say is 80 lumens, a 10% power. And then if you boost it up here, you get the, the 800. So it's pretty bright. We'll take a look at it and see. It's got a click cap or a, a Magizmo McClicky is what they say. And it's got a lithium ion battery that's rechargeable with the included power adapter. So we're also taking a look at that. Um, I do th I do like the fact that this is pretty heavy duty. I like the crenellated bezel as well as the uh, the tail cap there, um, and it is heavy duty. It's all machined and made in America, which I like as well. Um, just like the Titan Security blanket, and we've got some books that we're looking at. Um, Tony Nestor, good friend of mine that's into bushcraft, sent me his new book. Um, so it's uh, it's basically how to. Well, he talks about a 21-day winter trek in the Great Basin. Um, but just to give you some background, um, Tony writes about kind of survival skills and things like that. I really like what he's doing. Um, he runs a, a school called Ancient Pathways. Uh, but he, he wrote a book a long time ago, and for the life of me, I cannot remember it, but it's how I first kind of stumbled across it. I think we did a little write-up on ITS about it. But I think it's called Surviving a Disaster or something like that. But he talked about some things that he packs out um, kind of in case of emergency if you had to leave in the vehicle and things like that. So um, check that out from Tony. Um, also got sent a new book from, I guess this is a, a Simon & Schuster book we were sent. So it's Clear by Fire, Joshua Hood. It's a former 82nd Airborne. It's a search and destroy thriller. So he's got some uh, advanced praise from the likes of Dalton Fury, Kevin Maurer, and Scott McEwen, if you know who those guys are. Um, Dalton Fury wrote the book Kill Bin Laden. Uh, Kevin Maurer wrote No Easy Day, which is a great book in my opinion. And Scott McEwen was the co-author of American Sniper. So, Clear by Fire. Looking forward to reading that one. Um, and also, a good friend, uh, Chris Sidenog, over from... Uh, I cannot remember the name of his website for the life of me right now. Anyhow, so Chris Sidenog just came out with a new book. Um, he wrote this uh, Center Mass Group. That's his website. Um, so he had wrote this other book called How to Shoot Like a Navy Seal, which I really like. 
Um, Chris is Chris takes a really different approach to shooting, and I really think that he's got some great stuff to put out. I not only did I enjoy this first book that he came out with, but I mean, just look at the content that he's packed into this new book, man. I I, I really can't wait to check this out. He's got some really good detailed photos in it. Um, at any rate, it's uh oh hey, <laughs> I got a quote on the back of it. I just saw that. Sorry. <laughs> um, so here's uh, here's my praise. So having attended multiple hands-on instructional courses in firearms training, I was impressed to see how Chris broke down the fundamentals in a way I'd not seen before. This explanation has really helped me grasp a lot of the why in recognizing my bad habits and working to correct them. Very true. So I'm really looking forward to checking out his book. This is an advanced copy, kind of an uncorrected proof, um, but it comes out, I think, August 31st. So be sure to check that out, centermapsgroup.com. I want to thank Chris for sending that out. I'm really looking forward to, uh, to starting to read that. Um, I'm a big reader, so you'll see a lot of book stuff more than likely on these, uh, these gear tasting things. But uh, that's really all we have to go over today. Be sure to send us your gear-related questions or anything that you'd like us to cover for a topic on these gear tasting videos. Uh, just use the hashtag gear tasting on Twitter. And thanks for watching.